So today I will be doing the so many questions tag and I was tagged by Megan Sullivan. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I was tagged by Megan Sullivan and I will link her channel below. Thank you, Megan or Megan for uh, tagging me. And also this tag was started by the Camden Stitch. So I will link all of that information below. And there are 40 questions and you get to pick 10. 10 questions that you want to answer. So I have chosen my 10 and I am ready to get started. Okay, so the first question I picked was, what is your most favorite and least favorite sewing task? So for me, my least favorite sewing task would be um, stay stitching and interfacing because after I cut everything out, I'm ready to go and I'm excited, I'm ready to put everything together. And then when I realize that I have to stop and stay stitch something or interface something i feel like it kind of slows me down and it kind of breaks my rhythm and i'm like oh man and i have to do those little extra steps so those are the things that i'm not too crazy about doing but of course i still do them and then as far as my favorite um sewing task that would be believe it or not this is probably a little different than you may have ever heard but I actually like pinning like pinning two pieces together and I didn't realize it until I thought about these questions in order to make this video but I was like huh maybe that's why I have so many pin cushions because I have like a lot of pin cushions I have wrist cushions you name it and I even want to purchase another one which I probably will do but yes I actually like putting the little pins in and I don't know what it is about it but I like that Okay, so the second question is best tip or technique that you've learned from YouTube. And this is something that I can say I learned fairly recently, and that is how to close up the bottom of an invisible zipper. Because I would have problems when I would put in an invisible zipper where the bottom would be open and you can still see some of the fabric peeking out between the, you know, between the zipper, I guess. And I could not figure out how to close it up. So I found a video and I will link that be below also because it may help someone who's watching. So yeah, I was so happy to find that. And what it basically says is that when you're closing up the zipper, when you fold the seam over and you're trying to close up the bottom, that you're not necessarily supposed to match the one seam to forget it i'll just show you the video because it's kind of hard to describe <laughs> sorry about that but yeah you'll get to see it in the video okay so number three worst habit sewing or otherwise okay so for me i chose to pick a sewing worst habit and that is finishing seams i am terrible at finishing seams and honestly most often i don't even bother so once i sew that seam together i just move on to the next seam and keep going and so the inside of my garments are not neat and they're not finished and every now and then i will use the um what are those scissors with the little triangles i forget what you call them right now oh it's going to come to me but anyway every time every now and then i will use those little scissors to kind of clean up the edges but otherwise mm -mm. <laughs> and maybe i'll get better at it but then i don't know who knows maybe i won't but yeah that's a bad habit for me okay number four is pinking pinking shears that's what they're called <laughs> i figured it would come to me yeah pinking shears okay number four where do you sew so i actually sew in one of our spare bedrooms so yeah it's across from my bedroom so it's nice because it's kind of far away from not far but it's down the hall from my master bedroom so i don't have to worry about disturbing you know my husband or anything when i'm sewing and it has a door so that's nice okay number five that i chose is do you have any pet helpers and the answer to that is no we used to have a little yorkie named milo but we don't have milo anymore so at the moment no we do not have it or yeah i don't have any pet helpers number six big biggest sewing hopes and challenges so for me i have quite a few but the one i chose was matching plaids stripes i've gotten a little better with stripes um, but I'm not all the way there yet. So it's something that I'm working on. It's still a challenge for me and plaids most often I don't even try when they have lined up. It's been by accident to be honest. I mean, I try to get it, but no, 
I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, I found a video that if I do plaids or when I do plaids again, that I will try to follow the video. I don't know if it will work out and you know, be, be a success or not, but I did find a video by the professor pin cushion. And so I will also link that below in case you're interested. Number seven is how and when did you start sewing? Whew, let's see. So I can't remember the year that I started sewing, but I, I will say that when I was in high school, I took a homemade class. I took a sewing class and that was when I fell in love with sewing. And at the end of the school year, I asked for, it was, it was my senior year, and I asked for a sewing machine and I got it as a graduation, graduation present. So I was super excited. However, I did not use my sewing machine after I got it. I went off to college and did all that stuff. So I left my machine packaged up and I did not even pull it out until I got married years later. And at that point I had pretty much forgotten everything that I had learned in uh, school. And then, so I just bought some books and did the internet and just kind of started learning everything on my own, which will lead me or does lead me to the next question. The next question is who taught you to sew? So, I mean, I guess I could say I got the basics in high school and then from there I kind of just taught myself. So I haven't had any other formal classes. So I'm pretty much, well, I am self-taught. Um, number nine, proudest make or moment. So I do have a recent make that I'm pretty proud of. I shared in one of my other videos. It's really a really long dress that I made that was like labor intensive, but I am going to share one of my proudest makes from um, when I first started sewing again as a beginner or after high school when I kind of jumped back in. And it is actually this apron. So this was one of my first projects just jumping back into the sewing game. And it's really simple and you just, you know, put it, throw it over your head got the pockets in the front and then it ties on the side which I, I never even use these ties when I do wear it because I ended up making a little belt and um, <laughs> the belt is not it was not done right but yeah it works and I just tie it around and I wear this every now and then when I'm in the kitchen cooking but I kept it because I like it and um, it has a little button in the back. It didn't have a button hole, but it had one of, or it does have one of those little thread things and it broke. <laughs> so yes, this is one of my first um, sewing makes and I'm pretty proud of it because it was like, you know, it reminds me of when I just started getting back into sewing. And number 10 is my most used pattern. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you may know that it is Simplicity 8513, which is a bodysuit. I bet somebody could have probably finished that sentence for me if you watch me and you know that I love to make bodysuits. So yeah, it would be Simplicity 8513. I've made that a ton of times. So yes, I am so excited that I was able to answer these questions. Um, this was fun. It, it, it caused me to think of um, some things that I had never thought of before. So it was, it was enjoyable. So I will tag three people. And the first one is Soul Cow Socialite. The second one is T at Crumpets Tea and Sewing. And then the third one is Crystal at Crystal Sews and Stuff. And before I go, my love share is in the Philippines at McDonald's restaurants. One of the items on their menu that is a regular item is Mick Spaghetti. Stop the madness. I just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was very interesting. And thank you so much for watching. And you will see me in the next one.